So I just finished testing these and yeah, that happened. But there's still some of the toughest cases I've ever tested. So let's check it out. Today we're covering three cases, but they're all designed around the same technology. You've got the Crash Guard NX that comes with only the bumper, no clear back included. It saves you a few buckaroos. There's the Mod NX that's essentially the Crash Guard, but you have the choice of a full backplate to go alongside the bumper style. And my favorite, the Solid Suit cases. It's got full coverage and stylish back pattern options. You still have the ability to customize the buttons, but it's their full interior of their shock spread technology. This honeycomb looking texture that's really triggering my trepophobia right now. It's basically designed to protect you from this. Starting with the solid suit made of what feels like a thick rubber, they updated the finish to be a little more textured for the added grip. Popping the iPhone in, the buttons are also noticeably improved. They no longer stick sometimes, they're just clicky all the time. Hear that click click ASMR goodness? It's also available for the 10s Max, the same deal all around just on a bigger case. Because bigger is always better, you know what I'm saying? There's a slight ridge around the camera cutout, enough to keep it scratch free on surfaces, plenty of space for all the ports, and still slow charging compatible. Thanks to that smooth finish though, all these cases slide in and out of pockets without any issues. Nothing sticks or catches onto anything, just a smooth in and out motion like they taught you in middle school. Oh, and in case you ever had the urge to do this, don't worry. Still BPA free though. Now if you're wondering about the camera mount, since the camera is slightly higher on the 10s and Rhino Shield's camera mount is fairly tight, it'll still work if you use the older models, but I recommend you pick up the corresponding size for your phone to get an exact fit. Not a huge deal breaker, still usable, but just something to keep in mind if you plan on using their old cases with the lenses. Now for the Mod and Crash Guard NX, the beauty of these cases is this, showing off the fact that you have one less kidney now, but at the same time staying uber protected because it can do this. The button layout and material choice are the same on this one, you're just getting a lot less of it here. Still clicky, all ports are accessible, and the camera is still lifted on tables, although fully exposed due to the nature of showing off. With the Mod NX, a clear backplate is included, but they do offer a variety of designs to choose from. It is still a shiny clear back though, and will grease and fingerprint up like the real deal does. The Crash Guard and Mod are identical cases though. You just save a few bucks if you strictly want the bumper style with the Crash Guard and don't plan on covering up the backside. Now the reason this is called the Mod is because, well, it's modular. That goes for the rim choice, button choice, and if you chose the back plates, you could buy several and swap them out as you please. You can do a clear case for Monday, an exotic animal for Tuesday, and pink for Wednesday, because on Wednesdays we wear pink. Comment down below if you get that reference. And get this, they now have 11 rim colors to choose from. What? That's more than my fingers can count. So finding something that suits your needs won't be too hard. Like this soft color combo to let your significant other know it's that time of the month. Maybe you really love the IKEA logo, something a little cooler like Captain America themed, or obviously the better superhero, Iron Man. I'll fight you if you disagree. The point is, you can style it however you want. The shock spread tech built in will surprise you what it can actually do. It's not a super tight case and that's due to the case using a flexible material, but it won't slip off on its own and the new matte texture makes it a lot more manageable one-handed now. So pick your favorite colors or even a whole selection of them and swap them around whenever you feel like changing up your style. When it comes to the solid suits, I'm a sucker for all things black and the classic black here has this matte grippy texture making it really secure to hold. The cases do add some girth to the edges and you will definitely notice it on the 10s Max device. I highly recommend throwing on a pop socket or some finger hole grip thingy just in case. The backside comes in a range of finishes though, like this very foresty walnut style. In terms of thickness of the solid suit to the Crash Guard mod, they're about the same, one is just naked around back. Now the real issue we tested previously was how easily the included clear backplate scratched on the mod. With the new mod NX, they're claiming it's being improved while still staying a BPA free material. And after all that, it's definitely noticeably less scratched. It'll do fine in pockets now, but I still don't recommend pairing this with anything hard in the same pocket. But da -da -da -dum, this is what you're really here for. These tiny hexagons joining forces to fight your buttery finger when you drop your phone. The mod has it lined throughout the edge of the case, while the solid suit is a little more liberal with it lining the whole backside too. Before we get into that, I 237% recommend you grabbing one of these too. Now the tempered glass is only good for scratch resistance, and if you really must have a tempered glass, but the real winner is their impact protection screen protectors. Why? Because it's in the damn name. I've done this test on every iPhone with this screen protector, and each one has come out without a scratch thanks to this thin layer of plastic. 
Combine that with the solid suit, that's 360 degrees of protection that I have complete faith in to keep my baby from cracking. But that's not exactly the same case with the crash guard orientation. It's naked around back, but thankfully Rhino Shield also makes a back protector of the same material. And look, there's a gap between the front and back protectors to the case, but that prevents the case from pushing up on it, but also to accommodate the curved edges of the phone. Now I have seen an iPhone crack from something getting nudged into that gap, but the chances are like zero point never. Unless you're a very unlucky person, in which case you should just buy a Nokia phone or something. But with the front and back combined, it's probably the best investment you can make, even if you don't get any of the cases. The cases themselves have a fairly generous front lip to keep your screen raised. That's the case around back for the crash guard too. So let's do some mild tests. Yeah, it handled those just fine, but that's expected. All right, no more of those wussy drops. Let's do some real tests. No. The one spot, it's not covered. Everything else is A-OK. -okay. Let's keep going, I guess. Well, after a few dozen drops on each case, the 10s Max and the solid suit comes out looking a little beat down. You can also see exactly where the screen protector saved its butt, and the case has seen better days. Now remember, these are some fairly extreme tests, and when you drop it onto your soft carpet floors, the case won't instantly develop eczema like mine did after those tests. Point is, after it's all said and done, the case and protectors did its job and worked overtime two nights in a row. The 10s Max is perfectly fine. Face ID still scans my mug just fine, and 3D touch and general usage is a-okay. I'm thoroughly impressed, but not surprised. I've done this enough to know what Rhino Shield is capable of. Unfortunately, the regular 10S and the crash guard setup did have a little boo-boo. The one spot that's not actually covered, it looks like it landed directly onto a rock, it hurts to look at, but honestly, it makes the iPhone look a little more fierce. Otherwise, the phone itself is perfectly fine. No other scratches, cracks, or dents. The touchscreen is fully responsive with the 3D touch and face ID, and the back protector deserves a raise as well, working just as hard to keep that backside fresher than day one. Damn, to think two pieces of plastic can save your iPhone from all that? Honestly, at the very least, it's a no-brainer to pick up the screen protectors, especially with my coupon code linked down below. For a few bucks now, it could save you several hundred dollars down the road for screen repairs. In the end, which one you go with is down to personal preference. I love the solid suit and their back designs, but both models are customizable to your liking. If you were smart though, both cases have a built-in lanyard cutout. Grab one from the dollar store, and this two cents piece of fabric will prevent you from ever dropping your phone to begin with. Bam. I rest my case.